Hello folks, it's Robert's back and I'm going to present a web tutorial on how to do a Perl script in HTML for a web counter. So what we have here, this is the working program. And I've got it in Firefox. This is the path. So I'm going to refresh the page. Notice it increments by one. Increments by one. Increments by one again. So what I'm going to do is copy this address, open a new browser page, close that one, paste it in here, and hit enter. There it is. Refresh. Counts one. Copy it again. Now we'll open Internet Explorer and paste it in here. Hit enter. <clears throat> There's the counter. See, so it incremented. Click it again. Increments by one. Go over here, increment this one again. And it's number four. So two browsers opening, counting. This is a really simple program. After I finally got one thing figured out, and that's the .ht access file that needs to go on the root of the server or the host. Now this is the counting file. It's a text file. This is the HTML file that calls the CGI script or the Perl script, whatever you want to call it. So here's all the HTML things that you need. There's the title. Okay, now we'll go hit enter time at one time. This is the body. And I put it in a table, but I've got the border off. So I'm going to change it to one so it'll turn on the border one width. Save it, and I'm going to upload it to, using FileZilla to the host. So it uploaded it now. Now I'll go back and refresh the page in Firefox, and the border will show up. There's the border. So this is all testing because I was trying to figure out how to get this counter to work. So I'm going to put it back to zero, save it, re-upload the FileZilla to my host, refresh the page, and there you have it. So this is the line that's the big thing. You include virtual equals the path to the CGI counting.cgi script or counting.pl and this is where it sits in the CGI folder or CGI-bin or whatever your hosting or Linux server uses. <clears throat> Notice the permissions, file permissions, 775 on the countings.cgi script. This is the actual program that does the work. So I've got all these comments in here. You've got to have this htaccess file stored on the root of your host. And the following is what I have in my htaccess file. And it's these two lines right here. And this is the file. So this lets my host allow me to call a CGI script or Perl script from an HTML file. And that's what the permissions have to be set to, 775. <clears throat> okay, then you want to use these use statements to include these uh, modules so that you can put it in your program. Okay, these are my comments talking about the global variables that I'm using. Okay, so it's mod array, blah, blah, blah. These two, I don't need them in there, so I'll take them out. <clears throat> Here's where I declare how wide I want the image and how high I want the image. And then we've got to tell the Perl program that we want to print in text and HTML. So that's what that line is for. This is where we open the text file, count.txt, which is this one. This is what stores the actual count that we're incrementing. So you can change it to be 40 billion, and it would reflect that in the HTML file. <clears throat> so we open it, or die because it couldn't open the file, and that's an error. Okay, now we're going to lock the handle, file lock they call it. So we're going to lock the handle or the text file so that it won't get incremented while this program is doing its work. Okay, and then we're going to assign the variable count 
<coughs> to counter. So this is our text file. And we're going to assign dollar sign CNT, which is a global variable that I declared above. <coughs> All right. So we actually got the value into count. Now we're going to close it. Now we're going to increment the variable dollar sign CNT by one. And of course, <clears throat> this is the same thing as saying dollar sign count equals dollar sign count plus one. Same concept. Just incrementing it by one. Okay, now we want to reopen the count.txt file and store it using the file handle counter. Real simple stuff here. This is going to, so we, we're going to open it so that it can write to the count.txt file. That's why you lock it so that somebody else won't be able to overwrite what you did. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to use the print statement to write the file, the value of count, dollar sign count, back to count.txt with this statement here, which we opened right here. Okay, now we're going to want to know the length of count, and then we're going to store that value in our variable called dollar sign length. <clears throat> so basically, if there's six digits in there, then we're going to assign dollar sign length to that. Then, of course, since we're finished, we want to close the counter. All right, now what we want to do is if the length is equal to nine, so we want to know how many, we want 10 characters in here. So if the length of the global variable is nine, that means we have nine characters in count.txt. So then we're going to print one zero at the beginning of our output. So it'll be zero and whatever the count value is. So here's, here's what it looks like. So I've got a, a zero that's stored as a JPEG at the images folder. <clears throat> and I call it a0.jpg. And I want to use a length of 25. This is where it's stored under the images folder right here. So here's all these. It's down actually down farther. I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay, so it's a0.jpg right here. So these are all the nine, the ten numbers that I'm going to use. And there's the permissions of 604. So carpathias.com, images, a0.jpg. And we want a width of 25. And I stored image width up above right here. <coughs> image width equals 25. It's a global variable. And image height is equal to 35. And I'm going to concatenate this into the HTML string. So there's actually two types of strings going on here, a single quote and a double quote. So the single quote with the print statement starts here, and it goes to <coughs> here. So we're going to print the double quotation marks inside the single quotation marks so that we'll get our HTML. So print from here to here. Okay, and that's this portion of it to the first quotation mark. Then we're going to use the dot for the concatenation. And then we're going to concatenate or add to the string our variable, and then concatenate it again, and then do this to this single quotation mark. So everything inside these two quotation marks are going to be printed. Then we're going to concatenate the image height and then concatenate the rest of this string <coughs> so that it will produce this output. And this is only for the first zero. <laughs> okay, this next statement is simply for formatting the output when you do view source. So you gotta print a string